Welcome to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Today, we're gonna to take a look inside Pennsylvania's State Capitol Building. This building is a national landmark and an artistic treasure. And to help us today, we brought our good friend and art expert, Carrie Daigle. So join us for another lesson on the road. Welcome to the Supreme Court Chambers on the fourth floor of the Pennsylvania Capitol Building. Pennsylvania Supreme Court was created by the Provincial Assembly in 1722 and predates the United States Supreme Court by 67 years. Pennsylvania Supreme Court was the only independent court in the early 1700s with the ability to declare unconstitutional laws that were made by an elected legislative body. The concept of a free judiciary is one of Pennsylvania's greatest contributions to democracy. Today, Pennsylvania Supreme Court meets in three locations, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, and right here in the state capital, Harrisburg. Hanging from the ceiling here in the state capital Supreme Court chambers are four large chandeliers. But what's most interesting and most unique is that each contains a miniature statue. These four statues represent the great lawgivers, Moses, King Solomon, Aristotle, and Solon. You may have thought that the dome in the rotunda was the only dome in the capital, but well, you're wrong. Above my head is a beautiful green dome made by a Pennsylvania artist called Alfred Godwin. This room is also a treasure trove of art depicting 16 intricate paintings made by a woman named Violet Oakley. And to tell you more about Violet Oakley and her artwork, I'd like to introduce you to Miss Carrie Daigle. Violet Oakley was a well-known illustrator in the Philadelphia area, where she was known to create portraits, paintings, and also started a mural in her local church. She was known to be painfully shy, but she was a great allegorical storyteller within her artwork, and that made her a perfect addition to the Capitol building murals. One of the main focal points of this room is the mural behind me called Divine Law. It was painted in 1917, and it's the first of the 16 series in this room. A great manuscript of history will Will open up with a decorated letter, hence the large L cascading along the left-hand side of the painting. Within the L of the painting, we have the letters O-V-E spelling love. Within that, there is an A and a W intersecting each other, and that will spell out the law. Within the letters of the word law are the words that describe wisdom, and she believed all three of these will work together to create a sovereign nation. To some art historians, the woman peering through the letters may represent Venus. But for Oakley, the woman represents wisdom and woman's spirit of the world of maternal guidance. Welcome to Pennsylvania's House of Representatives Chamber here at the Pennsylvania State Capitol Building. This amazing room is filled with beautiful artwork, colorful murals, and original mahogany desks. Historically, Pennsylvania's House of Representatives is the oldest legislative body in the United States. Voting on bills here is done electronically. The screens on either side of the room indicate the member's name alphabetically and by party. Each desk here has a red button and a green button. Red is for no and green is for yes. As I had already mentioned, the desks here in Pennsylvania's House of Representatives Chamber are original, dating back to 1906. The mahogany came from Belize. The members of the House of Representatives sit according to party, with Democrats on the left and Republicans on the right. The house here is lit by six beautiful crystal chandeliers. The smaller ones weigh about two tons, but the larger ones weigh four and a half tons each. About every two years, workers erect scaffolding here and replace almost a thousand bulbs all in one shot. In the center of the room, on the ceiling, is a beautiful painting called The Hours. It depicts 24 maidens wearing different robes in a circle walking amongst the moon and the stars, depicting the 24 hours of the day. In the rear of the house chamber, just below the public gallery, hangs one of my favorite paintings. It's by Edwin Abbey, and it depicts Frederick von Steuben, a Prussian officer who was recruited to help train the Continental Army at Valley Forge. 
five colorful murals painted by Edwin Austin Abbey, who also painted the rotunda, decorated the walls of the house chamber. These include the reading of the Declaration of Independence behind me and Penn's treaty with the Indians. The very large mural in the center of the room behind the speaker's podium is called the Apotheosis of Pennsylvania. This 35 square foot painting prominently features William Penn and Benjamin Franklin on his right. Welcome to the Pennsylvania Senate Chamber here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Its original design by architect Joseph Houston and painter Violet Oakley remain remarkably intact. Just like the House of Representatives, Democrats here sit on the left and Republicans sit on the right. But voting here is done the old-fashioned way, by saying yay or nay depending on how you want to vote for a bill. The desks here are original, just like in the House of Representatives, and the mahogany comes from Belize. The greenish-gray marble that surrounds this room comes from Ireland. Speaking of Irish marble, Bobblehead George is a nonprofit organization. We are dedicated to providing unique, accurate, and entertaining educational content to lifelong learners of all ages. And it's through donations from people like Keller Contracting and friends like you that allow us to continue our work. So make sure to follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. We're on the talk? We are on the talk right. of ticking. The 24 stained glass windows that decorate the House Chamber and the Senate Chamber were done by Philadelphia native William Van Ingen, who was a student of the famous glass artist Louis Tiffany. Each window weighs roughly 200 pounds and is about 4 feet in diameter. They're embellished with a 24 karat gold leaf framework. Each window features a theme that's important to Pennsylvania history, commerce, education, and history itself. They also include themes like justice, liberty, and peace. Violet Oakley was also commissioned to paint the murals within the Senate chambers. Within the murals of the Capitol building, Violet Oakley was dedicated to world peace through international concepts. She truly believed that helping those in your community and understanding them will bring peace to us all. Many of the rotunda's design features were borrowed from the Paris Opera House, including this grand staircase and a three-tier gallery behind me. The eight large murals in the rotunda were painted by Philadelphia artist Edwin Austin Abbey. The mural above the stairs is dedicated to religious freedom and William Penn. The other murals are dedicated to the oil, coal, and steel industries that were major in Pennsylvania at that time. The centerpiece of the rotunda is an amazing 272 foot, 52 million pound dome above my head. It's modeled after the art found in the St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. In its completion, it was the tallest man-made structure from Philadelphia to Pittsburgh for 80 years. The artwork in the rotunda and its amazing ceiling serve it as an amazing backdrop for all the public forums and events that happened here in the rotunda. On October 4th, 1906, President Theodore Roosevelt was here for the dedication of this building. And he said, this is the most handsome building I've ever seen. The building was designed by Philadelphia architect Joseph Hudson. And in 1906, it cost $13 million, which was, by the way, 400% over budget. It might be hard to see, but the rotunda dome is actually lit by 48 portholes that line the outside of the structure. The inside of the rotunda is lit by 4,000 light bulbs found in the stands you see behind me. Each stand weighs a ton, and at the top of the stand you'll notice there are some glass spheres. Inside each glass sphere is a single light bulb, but the glass is cut in a way that each light produces an X-shaped pattern, which I think is kind of neat. One of the most interesting aspects of the Capitol Rotunda area are the nearly 400 Moravian tiles that are dispersed amongst the floor. The tiles, designed by Henry Chapman Mercer of Doylestown, show examples of Pennsylvania history, people, animals, agricultural, and even transportation modes. These are considered to be some of the finest examples of Pennsylvania German folk art. The statue that is located on top of the Capitol Dome here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania is known as Commonwealth. Commonwealth is a female figure who represents the state of Pennsylvania. This statue is made out of gilded bronze, is 17 feet, 8 inches tall. In her left hand, she holds the Mesa State, and the right hand is extended in benediction. 
Harrisburg's 8th Ward was a small thriving community where 36% of Harrisburg's black residents lived in the early 1900s. It was also the heart of Harrisburg's Jewish and immigrant residents. However, by 1917, most of the ward's residents were displaced to build the Capitol complex that stands here today. Today, four statues mark the spot where Harrisburg's 8th Ward once stood. These four statues represent famous orators who either visited or lived in Harrisburg in the late 1800s. It is also marked with a pedestal that shows the layout of the houses, the businesses, the churches, and the overall community that made up Harrisburg's 8th Ward. Thank you for joining us on another Lesson on the Road. So next time you want to do something a little bit historical. A bit scientific. Super artistic. Come check out Pennsylvania State Capitol in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and everything it has to offer. That's Mr. Graham. That's Ms. Daigle. That's Mr. Raymond. We'll catch you next time. Man, that fountain felt great. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> That's so that. weird. Yeah. I'm gonna drop my glasses on you. Yeah. <laughs> and to help us out, we brought our friend and art expert, Carrie Daigle. So let's learn another lesson on the road. So join us for another join lesson. Join us for another lesson on the road. I messed up with the step up anyway. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Pennsylvania Supreme Court was the in the oh. She called these paintings the opening of the book of law. And to tell you, hold on a second. What's that? <laughs> oh! Oh! No, okay. All, who also painted the rotundra. I said that wrong. Just like the House of Representatives, Democrats sit on, I can't, I remember, forgot now. Democrats sit on the left. Welcome to the Senate Chamber here at the Pennsylvania State Capitol in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I don't know what my next line is. Okay, I got it. <laughs>